if it isn't my favorite client. It's been a while. How are things? Hmm, by the looks of it, nowhere near dire enough for you to be needing my services. Uh, a shame. No more to be made here. Great, very well. I feel right at home, actually. Maybe you've forgotten, but this whole subspace creation thing is nothing new to me. Well, it can be a little... It's not my forte, okay? Anyway, I'm all settled in here now. Making my own would just be redundant. You should worry about yourself, not me. One does, as a matter of fact. One thinks you should create a few rooms specifically for housing legal codices. But this is your home, of course. The rules are yours to decide. You should worry about yourself, not me. Chat? Oh, I don't know about you, but I can chat for sure. Good luck trying to get me to stop talking. You seem like the quiet type. Are you sure you won't find me too... animated? Oh, good. I'm not sure why, but it's nice to hear you say that. In that case, why don't you choose a topic? Huh? Of all the interesting topics you could choose, that's what you want to talk about? Oh, I, I see. Thank you. <clears throat> then I'll start with the clients who came to me with the civil case recently. Uh, just to listen? I don't think one person talking technically qualifies as a chat, per se. I'm no storyteller, after all. I already found my calling in life. I don't plan on spinning yarns for a living anytime soon. Huh? Actually, I was thinking... Do you want to come fishing with me? Just the two of us, no one else. Not even your little friend here. Why not? Well, if you must know... It's no fun fishing by myself. No matter how many I catch, I only ever get to share them with Granny. Because, as you know, I can't reveal my true power in front of clients or friends. So, whichever way you look at it, it seems you're the only suitable candidate there is. No, no! Ugh. Okay, okay. I just want to get out and have some fun with you. Peacefully, without anyone else interrupting. Just the two of us. You'll have a chance to see what I'm truly capable of, not just professionally. Oh, really? Then, it's settled. I should warn you, though. I have a tendency to view arrangements like these as contracts. No ducking out. Oh, well then. If I wasn't fired up before, I certainly am now. Then, it's settled. Night-night. If you dream of any legal loopholes, I want to know all the details as soon as you wake up. Hey, morning! You should show a little more enthusiasm, like me! <laughs> Is it? There's no like or dislike. I'm not particular with my residences. But it is certainly more comfortable here than at the cathedral. At least no one's going to wake me up for morning prayer and prevent me from catching up on my sleep. <laughs> Thanks for your concern. I just have a few things to take care of. I've lived this way for such a long time, it'd be strange to change. Perhaps I'm more comfortable here than I thought I was. <sighs> I'm getting soft. That won't do. There's nothing to thank me for. Never mind. I know you mean well. Perhaps I'm more comfortable here than I thought I was. Sure. But let me make this clear. If you're looking to confess, you should go find someone else. 
So I was on duty this one time, receiving confessions from believers. And it was hard enough to make sense of their jumbled confessions, but then I had to use useless words like, May the Animo Archon bless you to make them feel better. Ugh, Archons have mercy on me. However, a lot of people believe that misfortune and suffering will never touch them because they're blessed by Barbados. I mean, sure, if this way of thinking makes them happier, then they can keep believing. Wait, was it Bartobus or, or was it Barsabato? <sighs> I feel like I said it wrong again. Yeah, let's go with that. Barbados it is. Um, also, thanks. Being able to talk to you so casually without having to worry about being nagged is quite the luxury. Great, then we're on the same page. Instead of wasting your time sobbing and confessing your sins at church, you're better off repenting with concrete actions. However, a lot of people believe that misfortune and suffering will never touch them because they're blessed by Barbados. I mean, sure. Hmm. Let's go to the tavern. We'll drink to our heart's delight and who cares if we get drunk? I never allowed myself to get drunk. I used to think it was idiotic to leave yourself vulnerable in front of others. But my perspective on that has changed. Huh. Maybe it's because I trust you. But that's beside the point. Angel share or the cat's tail? Which one you want to go to? If it's from Dawn Winery, you can be absolutely assured of its quality. I'd recommend their dandelion wine. You'll throw back a couple of drinks with me, won't you? Uh, never mind. I'll drink for you. Just return the favor when you're of age. Oh, interested in their special cocktails, are you? Their bartender doesn't work every day, but we can try our luck. You'll throw back a couple of drinks with me, won't you? Uh. Oh, good morning. <laughs> You're in good spirits. Well, if there's nothing going on, I'm off to rest. Good night. Get some sleep. Work is probably starting for me in a while. isn't as soft as the spot where I usually take my afternoon nap. There aren't as many butterflies here as in the meadow I like to go to. And I can't hunt freely here like out in the wilderness. But there's no smell of alcohol hanging in the air here. And no drunkards kicking up a fuss. So I think we can keep it the way it is. Uh... I'm actually pretty busy here. Still... I suppose a quick chat won't hurt. Let's do it. I know lots of great topics. Well... The old drunkards try to chat with me all the time. I never answer them. But that's still not enough to shut them up. I always make a point of making them the most disgusting cocktail I can come up with. But they drain every last drop and then ask for another glass. Ugh! Why do things have to be this way? Well, I like to share my hunting tips with others, but, uh, the guys at the tavern only want to talk about the harvest. Girls they like. Card game strategies, and stuff like that. I hate it. I make it pretty obvious that I'm not listening. But there's always someone at the bar rattling on to me. I always make a point of making them the most disgusting cocktail I can come up with. Ugh. Mm, actually, there is something I wanted your help with. See, 
most of the time, I'm either making cocktails or hunting. So I always tie my hair up like this. But mm, it's so relaxed here. There are no chores to do, plus nobody else has to see, so... I was wondering, would it be better if I wear my hair down? <laughs> really? Well, in that case, could you help me with it? Wait! Firstly, I want to make it quite clear that this is not because I just enjoy the feeling of having my hair brushed, okay? <clears throat> and be gentle, by the way. If you start tearing out hairs, <laughs> I might just bite back. Morning. Hey, if you're going out for a bit of sunshine, and if you wanted to take me with you, I wouldn't mind. Good night. <sighs> if only the grown-ups at the tavern would behave responsibly and go home after dark like you. Then I wouldn't have to be on duty all the time. 